The old self is kicking vigorously against the truth. They may have a feeling of discouragement, of fear, a feeling such as one would have if caught at something not respectable. But do not be frightened. That which you feel is on the spiritual plane. A similar excitement and agitation to that which was seen in the chemical action between the alkali and the acid on the material plane. And something higher and better always results. Stick to your original awakening that set this entire thing off. So, if any of you know anything about Native Americans, they call this the trickster. All right, where something finally is falling into divine alignment. You can feel it's time. It's like you were kind of askew and you didn't feel like you were in homeostasis or in balance. And you're, you're heading down the right track. You're finally getting rid of what that is, that's something that you were getting involved with that was no longer serving or the person that's no longer serving your life or whatever. And then something over here is like a flash and it's something of the old life, something that feels really comfortable and it feels like home and it's pulling you away from this divine inspiration, divine inspiration, you're heading down it, but this is like, but over here it's just so easy, you don't have to face any of that, all that stuff you have to go through to get to that like enlightenment stuff, you know, like just come over here and just come in and have shade, come have a drink with me over here, right? And it's so much easier to go back. The trickster's testing your will testing your spiritual will, how much are you willing to step into your life? How much do you love yourself enough to give you the life that you deserve? You have to ask yourself, because the person that's going to go to the old way that's no longer functioning, no longer good for you, that is the lower party that doesn't feel like you're worthy of what's ahead. It's the shame, it's the guilt, it's the whatever that made you feel like you don't deserve divine inspiration, divine light coursing through your being and bringing you to totality of healing in body, mind, spirit. Oh, let's just sit with that for a second. Let's actually think about how deserving we are of all of that. 